So in this video, I will illustrate if you have a new firewall or an existing firewall and you need to discover the policies. So how do you go about doing that? When you're deploying a firewall, whether it's a new one or an old one, and you need to figure out how to write the policies, one way is to talk to all the users that are connecting or going through that firewall. So you talk to the users and you discover the flows through talking to them, their system, applications, source IP, destination IP, ports, source ports and destination ports and all that good stuff through engaging the users. Palo has a great feature that actually lets you see the flows and change those flows into policies. Uh, I have not seen that in FortiGate, but what you can do is you can use FortiGate logs to see the flows and then write the policies based on that. So what I'm going to demonstrate or illustrate here is I've got a setup this firewall, 40 gate firewall. And I've got these four interfaces, port two, port three, port four, and port five. I've got VOS one here, VOS two here, puppy one, and puppy two, puppy Linux. And these are sitting on 10.2, segment 10.3, segment 10.4, segment and 10.5. So <clears throat> with the 40 gig firewall, one way is since it does not allow you to convert the look at the flows and convert them into policies, what you can do is put these interfaces into one zone so all of these ports will go into, let's say, zone one. And then for that zone one, you write a policy as source interface, zone one, destination interface, zone one, source, all, destination, all, services, all. Once you have this, obviously this is not what you want to do on a firewall, but you're trying to discover here again with this policy. So your, your intention is discovery. Discovery of flows. Once you get you write this policy and then you log it, make sure you log it, and then you go look at the logs. And there you will have your policies that you can write. So here I have puppy one, and that's running a web service to VMOS, puppy two accessing VMOS through a web service. VOS 1 
is going to be pinging across. So I'm going to run ping 10, 2, 2, 2. And I'm going to run, this is pinging this guy. This guy is accessing him. And I'm going to run a ping to 10, 3, 3, 2. This guy is pinging this guy. So right now, my firewall has a policy that is permitting everything. And here's the log for it. So it shows you the source destination ports, source interface, destination interface, and all of that stuff. And forward traffic log, because I need to discover. So my policy for the firewall is very straightforward for this discovery phase. It's zone one incoming, zone one outgoing, all source, all destinations, all services. And I am going to log. So you got to go into the network interfaces and create a zone first to put all the interfaces, which I did. So this zone has all the interfaces that I need for discovery. And once you do this, you can write a policy to discover this and log it. Logs all. So now I go, once I have this policy in place, I can go to my logs and look at the forward traffic. And it will give me the source destination, destination port, sources interface, destination interface, and all this information. And you can even download this to your, you know, your local PC and write policies based on that. The other way to look at this is also the dashboard, but the dashboard does not give you the ability to download. So for, for the view sessions will give you similar information, but you can't really download this stuff, right? So what you can do is you can also look at 40 view sessions, but for you to download for your record, you got to go the logging way so that you have a way to download it based on time and have enough data to for you to write these policies. Once you have these policies in place, you can go and delete your policy or disable your policy and write these policies based on your log information. Hope this helps.